hey friends we're just gonna hang out for a minute and let some people join us it's not exactly two o'clock yet Andrew's here helping me so he'll be answering any uh, questions you might have in the comments so I just um, if you are new to our sip and shows the Metropolitan Opera has been from the beginning of their closure for the COVID-19. They have been providing a different opera every night on their homepage to stream. And you can stream it either on a device, a computer, or a smart television. And this has been really well received. People are loving it. So every week uh, we've been showing items in our collection that associate with the operas that they are showing that week from Monday to Sunday. Then on Monday, we empty the category. It's called the Special Live in HD category. There's a link in the description. and Or you can go to the website and hit um, operabracelets.com, shop, and then the first thing that comes down is the Special Live in HD category. So on Mondays, we take everything out from the week before and we put in the jewelry that has to do with the operas that are coming up that week. So this week began uh, with Dialogue of the Carmelites. Then Tuesday was, help me dear, Barbara of Seville. Barbara Seville. Wednesday My was favorite. Nixon in China. Thursday was Giancarlo. Tonight it's the Pearl Fishers. So I highly recommend it. I saw it at the theater. It is really, it's beautiful. Uh, tomorrow is, Macbeth. oh, this is next week's. Macbeth. Macbeth. Verity's Macbeth tomorrow with Anna Netrebko. And Sunday is Norma with uh, Joyce DiDonato and Sandra Ravinovsky. So that's what you've got to look forward to this weekend. Um, also, there isn't a lot of jewelry this week that associates with the operas, but there's a few. And then when I'm done with that, we're going to show the new spring scarves, which are um, beautiful. So <laughs> you want to see that. And this is a sip and show. So we will take a sip. I'm pretending I have a vodka and uh, cranberry, but you never drink in Facebook. Yes. Okay. But get your vitamin C in, people. Get a hot drink. Hot drinks combat the virus. Or um, if you're ready for wine, days are blended into each other. So, you know, whatever time you think it is, it's, it's all good. It's wine o'clock. It's all good. <laughs> all right. So let's begin with Monday, Dialogue of the Carmelites, the Martyr's Bracelet. Um, I was fascinated by the history behind this piece. People used to be very snarky and say, oh, I can't wait to see a Dialogue of the Carmelites bracelet. Because I think they were picturing, you know, heads and blood. But when the time came that someone asked for a bracelet for Dialogue of the Carmelites, little research really, you know, gave me a good idea. So here is the Martyr's Bracelet. It's been much more popular than I expected it to be get up close there for you. So the charms are a fleur-de-lis to represent France. These are praying hands and a winged heart represents their martyrdom. The colors, the brown and black with cream pearls represent the habits of the Carmelite nuns. We have some Carmelite nuns that live near us. They have a website. They're really, you know, they're right on the ball. Okay. Yes, uh, Andrew has provided me with a note that says Juliana is with us, which I see on my screen. <laughs> okay. She is the designer of our wonderful opera scarves. And if we have any questions, you can just ask her because she's here with us. Not in person, online. Okay. <laughs> Tuesday was Barbara Seville. So the full story Barbara of Seville bracelet goes like this. The story begins on this side. We have music notes for Lindoro's serenade. Then we see the scissors for Figaro and Largo al Factotum. 
And by the way, all the beads that represent these characters are the same beads that represent them on the Marriage of Figaro bracelet. So continuity there. Then, um, as you know, Figaro gets in to see Rosina, and she's all ready with a love note for Lindoro. I mean, most girls want a big, long engagement at a fancy wedding, but she is ready to just get married and get the heck out of there. So the big black swirly bead is the the end of Act 1, when everybody just doesn't know what the heck is going on. Everybody is mystified. So then he comes in, he's the music teacher. And then on this side, they get the key, so they can come back for the elopement. And as you know, the story rolls along, and over here we have the marriage license. Get that. Let's see if we can see a good view of that. It's hard for me to see at the same time says marriage license on it so that is the full story Barbara of Seville again these are in our special live and HD category which is 19 percent off but these items will only be in there until say Sunday midnight or oh but we're not ready for this one yet okay so Nixon in China obviously what, what about Rosina? oh Rosina did you have here yes thank you dear well you know being live makes you flustered you're perfect here. All right. He wants to argue with me. Okay. So the Rosina bracelet is called Rosina's Wedding. It's all pink because with Rosina, I think rose as a color. And that was actually her color during that production. She was wearing pink dresses. So her love note for Lindoro. We have entwined hearts to symbolize their love and again the marriage license charm so where was i saying okay all the items in the category are 19 percent off a portion will go to support the met and um we change over the items in the category between monday sunday night monday morning so if anything you're interested in will be 19 percent off until that time Okay, so Nixon and China, we don't have any jewelry for that, even though I have a brilliant idea, but it's like, who's going to buy it? <laughs> so, no you Nixon that, and China. You got that 747 charm, right? Yeah, actually, I do. <laughs> so, um, Don Carlo, we don't have anything for that at this point. I did a, a special order at one point. If anybody wants to inquire about special orders, you can see all the details of that under... Uh, operabracelets.com and then there's a subject called more and you'll see special orders under there so you know it's something we do occasionally just a lot of fun tonight is the pearl fishers let me tell you it is magical and we have a bracelet we call pearlescent love a lot of pearl glass pearls of course not real pearls and some touches of aqua just to represent the water they're on an island it's tropical so we have a little shell with a little pearl. It's not a real pearl. It's just molded that way inside. You see it? Uh, the heart with concentric hearts represents all the different kinds of love in that opera. The, the guys have love for each other as friends. Each of them loves... The girl. Is her name Layla? The girl. <laughs> the girl. The girl. And she loves them each in a different way. One as a romance and one in that she saved his life when his life was in jeopardy. And this little hand with henna on it that doesn't want to, just wants to peek out there. There we go. we will get a good shot of it there. That represents um, her status as a priestess. So I hope you will watch that tonight if you're feeling a little tense and you just need to get away from the news there's a lot of serious stuff going on and uh, you know you think jewelry is kind of a trivial thing but it's the little things that are getting us through at this point so I do encourage you to watch it it is really beautiful music and uh, if you just need to escape you know a couple hours in Sh Sri Lanka right <laughs> Ceylon so they um it'll really take you away I hope you will enjoy it. Yeah. Well, who called Sri Lanka back then? <laughs> I always think of Ceylon pearls, because that's yeah. what they call it in the bead world. Right. The, so that, you know. that was the name before it was Sri Lanka. Before it was Sri Lanka. Okay. A little history for you. Okay. Sunday. 
is Sa- not Well, locked. Saturday is Macbeth, which we don't. Have. Yeah, we don't have anything for Macbeth. I have to say it's not my favorite. I love Shakespeare, but that Macbeth is a little... There's like a lot of witches. <laughs> Instead of three, there's like a chorus of them. It's it, It's not my favorite. But it has a great cast, so if it's your thing, go for it tomorrow. Tomorrow from six th- between 6.30 and 7.30, they change it over. Okay, but Sunday is Norma. And the Norma bracelet tells the story of the opera from beginning to end. Here in the beginning, we're in the sacred grove. And then uh, Norma comes along and she sings the beautiful aria, Casta Diva, to the moon goddess. And as you know, we have some Roman soldiers who are uh, making the moves on these priestesses. You know, where do they get this plot? I can't imagine. There's some, another oak tree. He threatens to cut down the, the sacred oak tree. And the story rolls along and ends with a fiery conflagration. <laughs> so there's a lot. There's a nice uh, crystal red heart to symbolize their love. He sacrifices himself with her and some what they call fire opals, which are beads that, depending on the light, look orange or red. And... Um, That is how the Norma bracelet tells the story. And one last inspired by bracelet, inspired by the aria Casta Diva. This is a song to the moon goddess and lots of, what do we, what do I want to call it? Opalescent whitish glass beads, which represent moonlight and luminous quality and then there's a lot of visuals in that scene she is dressed up for this ceremonial occasion with like a flower wreath so we have we have leaves and flowers and she is there to cut the sacred mistletoe so these green beads with some pearls in the middle symbolize the mistletoe and for charms let's see if I can get a nice focus on these charms okay the tree representing the sacred grove know how close we're getting the moon goddess face in the moon charm and then we have a mistletoe charm on the other side here we ordered those specially for this we did not have mistletoe charms and they weren't available anywhere so we went to the manufacturer and got them straight from them okay so let's have a sip So it just worked out that we didn't have tons of jewelry this week. That was associated with the schedule they had chosen. But next next week, we got something for every day. But before we get into next week, I want to show you Juliana's new scarves, which are beautiful. And they are not in the special live in HD category. To see them, you just go operabracelets.com shop and then you will see pure silk scarves as a category you can see them there again a portion of all sales is going to go to help the mat this month let's start with give a nice little tree with all the scarves yes on my coat tree oh here you hold that one yes i will no you hold this one oh, okay okay this is the claire de lune based on debussy's famous piano piece. I'm going to step way back so you can see the whole don't thing. Don't trip over the chair. Then I'll come in so you can see some detail. See, see, don't do a Dick Van Dyke. What, tripping over the chair? So yeah, I think so. you can see almost all of it there. Again, if you go on the website, you're going to see some nice photos with um, details, but let's show you some of them. See on the border, it's showing the phases of the moon which is the neatest thing, I think. And then we have a lot of celestial imagery and the music itself there. Again, you know with you know how Facebook reverses things, so I'm not sure if I have it the right, so, what you can see, but that is the Claire de Lune music. And there you see the moon. It says Claire de Lune on it. And more music. And there is the signature of Debussy. So if you know someone who is maybe plays piano or loves that piece of music or should be introduced to this piece of music because it is very calming, that is a beautiful piece for that. Say, I'm off camera, but these, these 
Facebook you like to be Live. On camera? No, sure, dear. There you are. Hello. <laughs> Facebook Live does not do these scarves justice. They are stunning. I mean, it, it, they're incredible. So, Juliana is amazing. So what I would say is if you have an interest in, you know, one of them in particular, to hit the website and see um, the details more close in the description. Because Juliana really put a lot of time into these designs and everything has a meaning. Okay, let's make sure we have this the right way around. Yes, we do. Yeah. This is the world's favorite opera. Let's see. I don't know. I don't know if there's really a top <laughs> to no, the design. A... It, it all kind of flows. Yeah. So I think you can see the whole thing there almost. Yeah. Now there's a lot of detail to show here. Okay. You'll see Puccini, La Boheme, and the music. I think I might be upside down there. Then we have some pretty tool de joy imagery. And the flowers are all designed as if they were embroidered. They're not really embroidered, but it looks that way because Mimi was the embroiderer of flowers in her aria Chamo, Chamo, was it Chiamo Mo? Mi, I can't pronounce that. Chiamo di Mimi. So she talks about how she embroiders flowers. It's more imagery of some lovers. We literally just got these a couple days ago. So. Yes. It's the first time we're showing yeah, them. Let's turn it so they can see that La Boheme section. Do we see it? Okay. You see there's a key over here? Right there. Mimi's key. And you can see some more of the flowers. Lobo M. Trying to see if there's some other details. Somewhere in here is Puccini's signature. Oh, take your word for it, I saw, oh, there it is. It's upside down, but it's there. You see it? Yeah, right there. Okay. And then right down there is the actual aria. Si mi chiamo Mimi. So this is our Labo M scarf. And again, hit the website and take a look at these details up close. They are amazing. And in addition to the full size scarf, we have another full size one though. No, we won't. one subject at a time. Okay. We have a what the, Juliana calls the Twilly scarf, which would be more of an accent scarf. There's a lot of ways you can wear a little scarf like this, or you can tie it on your purse, put it around a hat. You, you can, can do different things with it. If you, there's one for La Traviata that's been out that has example pictures of how you can wear it yes there's some styling pictures on there but if you, you see she i don't know how she magically took that humongous scarf and got all the detail to show on the length of this scarf so there's the aria again beautiful flowers the music and then on the other side we've got the signature the key she's got a wine bottle for they get the landlord drunk, remember that? And then look yeah, at the candle, Mimi's candle. So it's like every inch of this has beautiful detail from the large scarf. So I mean, either one, depending on how you wanna wear it, it's, um, you're not gonna be disappointed. Let's put it that way. It's wonderful. Okay, the third spring scarf. This one is for Turandot. Turando, Turandot. There, we think we've got the whole thing in. Now, I, you really need to go and read the description um, on the product page because each one of these patterns represents a different character in Turandot. And there you see some Turandot music. Word. The, these uh, these white flowers are jasmine flowers because Turandot's theme in the opera is based on the Chinese folk song, the jasmine flower song. So let's see, let's turn it. That's a little upside down, but it says Turandot there. Another design. The three clouds are meant to represent the three riddles. And let's get see if we can see this dragon. Yeah, that, see sure. the dragon, 
And right there is uh, Puccini's signature. And then here, the moon represents Nessun Dorma, the moon in the night sky. So there's just so much beautiful pattern on this one. And the colors are gonna go with, I mean, anything. The gold, the black, and white, I mean. It's beautiful. I mean, I wish there was a better way to show you. You know, I wish I could come through and show you, but it's just incredibly beautiful. So again, I encourage you to go off of bracelets.com, hit shop and silk scarves, because you will um, read a lot more of the detail she's put into it. And there is a Twilly scarf for Turned Up. Got the moon for Ness and Dorma and lots of Chinese pattern. There's the dragon. I love the dragon. <laughs> and then on the back side, it says Turndo. And you see, you get a little of all the patterns in it. So we're not saying that silk scarves are going to save you from the virus, but if you get desperate, <laughs> you know, I used a scarf at the grocery store yesterday because not one of these. Not, <laughs> not one of Juliana's scarves, but I was like, I just didn't know what to do. I mean, everybody was wearing masks, and I just felt like, I don't know, I wasn't ready. I wasn't ready for the outside world. So that is the beautiful spring scarves um, that just came in. So the Twilly scarves are also available in a set of three with um, these two, La Boheme, Turanda, and La Traviata. So you will see all of that when you hit the scarf uh, category, the scarf category. So you want to either see the special live in HD category for the bracelets that have to do with this week's operas, or pure silk scarves will take you to see all the scarves, the ones we've had in stock and the brand new ones that are here. All right, next week they have announced the schedule. It's jam-packed. Jam-packed schedule. Starting with Monday with a bang, Aida. So, with Anna de Trepko as Aida. So, it is the last time they say that they are going to put that production on with the beautiful triumphal march scene. I mean, with the horses. We don't know what the new one will look like. At this point, it's supposed to premiere in September, but who knows? So, that's Monday. Tuesday. So for Aida, we have the Aida bracelet. We have earrings, earrings. bracelet, two, two bracelets and earrings for Aida. Fanchula del West is Tuesday with Deborah Voigt. And uh, we have two bracelets for that that are actually clearance bracelets. So they'll be even lower than 19% off. Wednesday is Falstaff. Lucette Orpesa, Angela Mead, Stephanie Blythe. I mean, come on, that's a cast. So we have we have a Falstaff bracelet for that, so we'll be okay. Thursday, 6.30 p.m. Hats off to the Met. They made they, a great choice. They, um, they were thinking. They put Parsifal up, 6.30 on Holy Thursday evening. So you can watch it from Holy Thursday into Good Friday because Parsifal takes place on Good Friday. And it is possibly one of the longest operas. I think Dr. Dummerung might be slightly longer, but not by much. <laughs> so you might want to break it up across two days. Just saying, get a little head start on it. And we have... And we have... Um, clearance. Two clearance bracelets for Parsifal. Friday at 6.30, they will put up Romeo and Juliet with Diana Damarau and Vittorio Grigolo. Um, it was passionate shall we say it was a passionate production and uh we do have uh romeo and juliet bracelets two of them mm -hmm. so we'll be putting those in and saturday on uh next saturday the 11th 6 30 p.m they will or 7 30 uh, between 6 30 and 7 30 they change over. eastern time eastern time it'll be don pasquale with anna netrebko matthew polanzani marius quichen and john del carlo I saw it at the theater. It's hilarious. So if you you know if you're having a rough week next week and we don't know what the future is gonna hold at this point, but that will definitely be a bright spot if you need cheering up. 
And we and have Don Pasquale. On Easter Sunday. We have Don for, Pasquale. We have Don Pasquale bracelets. Yes, we do. They are um, also clearance items. So, hey, they're going to help us with our clearance <laughs> selections next week or at the Met. We thank them. On Easter Sunday, for reasons that no one can tell us, Cosi Fan Tutte, the Coney Island version. So if you haven't seen that, it's very different. I mean, as if there's not enough going on in Cosi Fan Tutte, they got acrobats and drug lords and sword swallowers and snake people. Real ones. <laughs> I, yeah, I, I don't claim to wonder why they did this, but um, it's definitely different. All right, so and that is, I'm going to turn it over to no, Andrew. No, wait a minute. What for the Cosi place? has a scarf. Too. That's right. We have Cosi Fun Tutte bracelet and we will have the scarf in the cat in the special live in HD category. And all that changes over early Monday morning. Something like that. Shall we say? So anything you let that I showed will be 19% off until we change it over. Okay. Andrew has a big announcement about something the Met is putting on that just sort of hit the internet um, a moment ago. So I'm going to turn you over to him by rotating I'll try the camera. To, I'll try to read this and turn my head. So if I turn my head... He's reading. I'm reading. Okay. So the Met has decided to listen to all of you. And they're going to have a People's Choice selection on Friday nights going forward of which Live in HD Encore they're going to show. And if you go to their Facebook page or go to ours, because we just put a link up to it, we shared their, their post, they have a link to their page. It's a Survey Monkey page where they give you about 40 different operas. So it runs the gamut. Um, there's a couple very popular ones. You've got uh, My Dama Butterfly is in the list, Rigoletto is in the list. But then you've got some ones that. Don't forget that all time classic, Exterminating Angel. And the nose. The nose. The nose. <laughs> Literally, it's got, it run, It doesn't, there's, there's still a few of the real popular ones that are not in the list, but it runs from early live in HD all the way up to this year. You get to pick three, and then you tally up all the votes um, on Sunday. So you got this weekend to make your picks, and they're going to show starting the 17th, the People's Choice of which is the most popular. I don't know how they're going to do it in the following weeks, if they're going to add more or, or what. But it, it's really, I mean, it's giving the people a chance to vote. And I'll be very interested to see, because there's a couple of them that have some opera stars that are not in favor right now. Let's just say that. You can look to see what gentlemen I'm referring to. Or uh, gentlemen, as the case may be. A gentlemen, yes. But they're giving people, so be, it's going to be fun to see what gets picked. But and it, what does it say here? It says, voting will be available until Sunday, April 5th. At 10 p.m. At 10 p.m. So that is Sunday. And, of course, you can only vote once. How will they know? Because you you put your email address in. Oh, you can't you can't fill the voting box. No stuffing <laughs> okay. the ballot boxes. <laughs> All right. I can but, make a comment, but I won't. But it's nice that they're you know they're doing that to gauge the popularity of things. I mean, I can only imagine. You I know, mean, Marriage of Figaro and Madame Butterfly are obviously going to have more poll than. Uh, and it also adds to their email list too. Ah, smart. There's some smart people over there. Alert the media. Met. The Met has done something wise with marketing. Yes. They, <laughs> they are. I mean, they, but they, they want to they show what the people want to see. And, you know, again, there's, there's, there's no... There's like 40 to choose from. Yeah, I, I mean, Turando's them. not in the list. Magic Flute's not in the list. Which, so we can only imagine that they've already planned dates for those. There was no Tosca either, was there? That's another one, yeah. No. So there's a few of the big ones still out there. And a few big ones in the list. Yeah. So, all right. So, that's our sh show this week. I mean, yeah. it was a little short yeah. because oh, thirty minutes. Well, okay. we had the scarves to fill it out, so that was it, it. Was great timing, Juliana, to get those beautiful scarves. And um, uh, the world may be in a strange place right now, but spring is still coming. So, a lovely spring scarf does brighten the day. I know a lot of people are dealing with very stressful situations and serious situations, but it's the small things that get us through. And you know. 
Mother's Day is still going to come. If you want, I can ship things straight to someone for a gift. And, of course, all jewelry will be sanitized before it leaves. <laughs> so, don't worry about that. And all the scarves are all sealed up in plastic as well for shipping. So, um, if you have a gift that you need to send out, people have birthdays, uh, graduations are coming. Oh, how to watch. You didn't mention that. How to watch the Met Life? I did so. At the beginning, oh. I said you can go on a computer on their homepage or on a device, or you can pull it up on a smart TV. If you have Roku, you can bring up the Met so up on watch. demand application and watch it on the big screen. So, yeah, I think watching some of these has really helped to, you know, it's just something that adds a little structure to my day and gets me away from watching. The news, especially well, the lighter well, operas of Ben Fon. And it's also interesting to see how Live in HD has evolved from their very first right. sets of operas. Ones. The old ones, I mean, there's no host for like Because Margaret Juntwaite introduced Barbara Seville, audio only. Oh, and they had like a, a wild little intro with like orange animation and different things. It was cute. It was like they used the, the drawings from the costumes to like make a little intro video. Yeah, it's too bad they got, I can't see it. But they, they also, like, in the, between the intermission, they had uh, Don Bartolo and his, his... Oh, they had a weird comic thing with, yeah, Bartolo and his um, servant, like... In character. Wandering, yeah, wandering around backstage looking at things. It was all the different... Well, it was all the different <laughs> sets from other operas. And, right, and the, they were and climbing the servant, on the Turindo sets. And the, the, the servant's like looking and he, he's having to bring the servant along and say, come on, let's go. So it, uh, it was a little... It was different. Yeah, so that's something else to look for. I mean, they were still getting their feet wet back then, you know, in the 2007, 2008 time frame. I mean, now it runs really right. smoothly. Right, sometimes you're watching it and you're like, why can't I hear them exactly well? And it kind of seems like it took them a while to figure out how they wanted to work the miking of the live in HDs and the filming of it. So it is interesting. Definitely. Especially if you're a regular right. live in HD. Probably the only chance unless you subscribe, which we encourage you to subscribe. That'll really support the Met if you're subscribed to the Met On Demand channel. But you can see how they used to do yeah, these. Here. So anyway... <laughs> That's it. All right. So, again, if things are getting to you, a little music is a great antidote. I mean, if you don't have the time to delve into a four-hour opera with the Met. Listen to can, Frank Sinatra. You can go on YouTube and pull up some favorite opera music or classical to calm yourself down. I thank everybody for spending a half an hour with us here on a Friday afternoon. It is Friday for our sipping show. And again, to see um, the stuff we showed, hit operabracelets.com, then click shop. Then you can choose either special live in HD category to see the jewelry that's 19% off this week that reflects the Mets operas they show, they're show they showing in this week. And if you want to see scarves, hit pure silk scarves. They are all there and you can see beautiful juicy photos and read um, the descriptions of what everything symbolizes. Thank you, Juliana. Thank you, Juliana, for your partnership with us. We appreciate it, and your work is just beautiful. Okay, everybody have a great rest of your Friday. Pearl Fishers. You won't regret it.